than 60 confessions made by accused Delphi double murder suspect Richard Allen will be allowed in his trial this October. The ruling came down yesterday after a hearing about a month ago. Fox 59's Eric Graves talked to a few legal experts about what this means for the trials going forward. This is one of the major rulings we've been waiting on. Allen's dozens of confessions are significant, but the lawyers I talked to say it's not the end-all be-all for either side of the trial. Nearly a month after three long days of hearings in Carroll County, Judge Fran Gohl has decided Delphi double murder suspect Richard Allen's dozens of confessions can be heard by a jury during his October trial. One would be enough to cause a great deal of grievance for the defense. Allen was arrested in 2022, accused of killing Abby Williams and Libby German near the Monon High Bridge in 2017. In the spring of 23, while Allen was locked up in Westville Correctional Facility, he reportedly made more than 60 confessions to his wife, his mother, and others. His attorneys say he spoke as his mental health deteriorated in prison. They say Allen had begun beating his head against the wall and even eating his own feces. There John Tompkins, a defense attorney not affiliated with the case, says defense. the factors around the confessions could impact how a jury sees them. You've got head injury, self-inflicted head injury. You've got dissociation, disorientation. It can really start to backfire on whoever is offering these types of statements. Once Allen was treated for his mental health, the confession slowed down and stopped. This change is something law professor Jody Madeira says Allen's defense attorneys could point to. Well, you could make the case that defendant Allen was in a particularly agitated, traumatized um, mental state. There is still more from the summer hearings Judge Gohl has yet to rule on, mainly whether or not the defense can present their theory that Abby and Libby were killed by followers of Odinism, a Nordic religion, in a pagan ceremony. Allen's defense attorneys say detectives ignored this theory in the investigation. Tompkins says the sooner a ruling comes on this, the better, because of how important it is for the defense. If that was your core defense, it's incorporated into all your questioning. It's incorporated into your witness and exhibit list. If the judge rules against the defense bringing up their Odinism theory in court, it could mean the defense would need to restructure their entire strategy, possibly leading to the attorneys needing more time before that trial. Richard Allen's trial is set to begin on October 14th. As Judge Gold makes more rulings in the case, we'll keep you updated. In the studio, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Eric